Hi and good morning. Happy New Year to everybody. It is January 2nd, 2017, about 20 after 9 Eastern Time, 9.20 a.m. Just about an hour ago, a little more than an hour ago, about an hour and a half ago, there was a large deep earthquake right here in the Fiji Tonga region once again. It's a 6.0 at a 549 kilometers in depth. This is a large deep earthquake and as I've been discussing, large deep earthquakes well up to the surface and produce large shallow earthquakes, the ones that cause damage. Uh, yesterday there was also a large deep earthquake, it wasn't as large, it was a 4.8 at about the same depth just underneath the plate in the asthenosphere. That pressure came up to the surface and transferred to the west as expected and to the south. It was actually a 4.8 right down here on the South Island of New Zealand sometime yesterday. So it took about 24 hours. Um, today, just about an hour ago, a little more than an hour ago as I said, another 6.0 at 549 kilometers. That constitutes a large deep earthquake. That pressure is going to come up to the surface and produce similar or larger size earthquakes. With the size and depth of this particular earthquake, I'm expecting a magnitude of one to two points higher. So we're talking about a seven to eight point oh magnitude in this region. Um, that pressure will transfer to the west and it will also transfer to the south equally. So we're looking for a six to seven or even greater down here in the south towards New Zealand and we're looking for a six to seven possibly an eight up in this region up in here you have japan right here taiwan and the philippines right here papua new guinea mm -hmm. and the indonesian islands these are the solomon islands where we recently had one of the largest earthquakes of the year last year just a few weeks back um, incidentally while we're looking at the map this little swarm is still breaking out here in Southern California and Nevada and up here in Alaska is a little swarm of earthquakes. That tells us that this building pressure right up out here off the coast of Northern California at the Oregon border. Uh, one of the, the largest earthquakes of the year for North America was about a 5.7 just a few weeks back right here. Um, that pressure transferred down to the south and is bottled up right here. Usually the pressure will transfer over here to Oklahoma and expend itself with a swarm or a large earthquake in Oklahoma and that has not yet happened so I'm still actually looking for that to happen but in the meanwhile it hasn't which means the pressure is bottled up right here. I believe that it's backing up and it's going to expend itself right here with a 5 or a 5.5 or greater earthquake sometime in the next day or two, possibly three days. Um, about the same time that this earthquake happened here, this large deep earthquake in the Fiji region, we had one right here in Peru, just a little bit earlier. Um, it was also a 6.0, it's been downgraded to a 5.9 in Peru. You can see that right here. Um, it wasn't too deep, so I'm not expecting it to produce anything significantly larger but uh, the pressure here in this particular area usually transfers down here to the south a little bit some of it will also come up in here into the Caribbean area near Argentina or excuse me Venezuela and Puerto Rico there is a little swarm of pressure building up out here in Puerto Rico area in the Caribbean chain but I expect that this particular earthquake will produce similar size earthquakes, maybe in the 5.5, 5.7 range or better, and it will transfer and show itself up down here near Argentina, Bolivia, and uh, southern Peru and the Chile border. Eventually, after a couple of days, that pressure will come all the way down here and it'll come across and it'll expend itself out here at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is this line right here. So, the main focus point for this video is this large deep earthquake right here south of the Fiji Islands. Um, it is definitely something to keep your eye on over the next two or three days. 
possibly over the next 24 hours for a large 7 to 8.0 magnitude earthquake anywhere in this region right in here still working on getting that narrowed down but for now we're going to go ahead and call it for this whole area of the west pacific so i hope you enjoy this video i hope you'll subscribe to my youtube page give this video a thumbs up come back later uh, this evening if anything happens between now and then i'll try to do an update video and i hope you enjoy it thanks and have a great day